Good morning, friends, and welcome back to Gardening Suburbia. My name is Amanda, and I'm a gardener here in Zone 6 in Cincinnati, Ohio. And today is actually Father's Day, so happy Father's Day to all of the men out there that have little ones or maybe not so little ones. Um, today, I'm actually going to go spend time with my dad, um, and he recently got a boat, and so we're going to go out on the lake and enjoy some time together. I am actually gonna gift my dad a bouquet of flowers because men deserve flowers too. And I recently, I don't know how recent it was actually, a video saying that the only time that men get flowers is for their funeral. And I think that's kind of sad. So I'm gonna give my dad a bouquet of flowers because I love him and they're pretty and men can enjoy pretty things too. So let's get a bouquet together for my dad. I'm going to do mostly, oh look we've got squash bugs already, look at him, he's like, you don't see me, you don't see me, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's the guy who's leaving all these little things, um, anyway, so I've got a bunch of these orange wonder snapdragons, I think a majority of this bouquet is going to be these guys. Um, and then... Looks like we've got some black prints. Got at least two of those. And maybe even one of the white snowflake. So, majority snapdragons. Um, and then we're just going to kind of look around and see what else we can throw in here. Probably get a few of the sweet peas that are still moving right along. These guys smell incredible. Wish you guys could smell those. And then we do have some yarrow. Um, if you guys were here for our little sunflower experiment, not a single one germinated and I really didn't have much hope for it because when I found the seeds that I had gotten from my stepmom, they had actually been in their shed, which is not, uh, the AC, there is no AC in that shed. So it gets really hot. Um, and seeds need a cool dry place to like be stored. And that was not cool. Um, looks like we might have a few zinnias here and there. Some of them aren't quite opening up yet. Oh, look at this one. It's so tiny. Do you know we have got... This one's a little past prime. This one also is a little past prime. That is the peppermint stick. And I think this is the green ivy. Hmm. guys are quite might be able to throw one or two of those in there where's this guy hello Guy. say good morning say good morning and you hear his burp <laughs> oh my goodness did him go potty Yep. That guy's all beat up. <sighs> what to fill a bouquet with? Probably get some of these guys in there too. These are the Blue Argeritum. Um, and these are kind of fuzzy. They're super cool. I think I'll throw a couple of those in there too. Would have been so cool if my, um, my, what is this called? Bergamel had started to flower. Because if you guys look, let's see if we can focus, there it is. It looks like it's just about to bloom. It has a ton of powdery mildew, which I have not been treating. Um, this is mostly because it just rained 
so much at the beginning of this season. This has been in my bed since last season. Um, but this is the first season that I think it's going to actually flower. And there is just... It's a really big bush. Um, but it's just sad that it's got the powdery mildew. But that's okay. If it blooms, I'll be happy. Okay. I think we're going to do snapdragons and also some yarrow. Maybe some calendula. There are a few in here that look pretty okay. They're just closed right now because the sun hasn't come out on them yet. And I think that'll be good. Alright, so I've got a little cup of water. Let's see if I can get this guy to... There it is. Alright, so I am just gonna... I'm gonna harvest this guy right here where it's bending. And just strip all the leaves. Let's see where that takes us. Get some maybe long ones. These are so, I can't believe how pretty these are. And these stems are so long. Definitely the longest stems I've had on snapdragons. Which is awesome because it makes bouquets so much more interesting. little past prime. I'm just going to cut this one so that it sends off more side shoots, but those blooms are a little, little, little dead. I'm just going to throw that back in the, the bed, the compost. This has a one single blossom on it. Take this guy. This already looks like a really big bouquet of flowers. <laughs> Probably my biggest one. Um, I'm gonna get one of these the white snowflakes. This one looks like it's the most ready to harvest. Um, with snapdragons, you want at least a third of those blooms to be open when you harvest. The rest will open uh, gradually as they sit out on the counter. 
or on the windowsill or wherever you put them. I'm gonna get some yarrow. Just gonna kind of cut these guys down. All right, so we have our beautiful bouquet. Put some sweet peas in there. Had two daisies that were pretty in pretty good shape. Um, and I grabbed another little bundle of yarrow from the Colorado yarrow, which is hiding back there. Um, but I think this is a pretty pretty bouquet for for Dad. So let's head to my dad's house and gift him this bouquet. I brought you flowers! <laughs> Alright friends, so I'm back home. I spent a really beautiful day with my dad. Um, we went surfing on his boat, or behind his boat, and we got to go and have coffee together and just catch up. So it was really nice to see you, and I'm so grateful. I hope that you guys got to spend time with your loved ones. Um, if you guys want to check out any of my other content, I'll go ahead and pop a video up here for you to enjoy. I promise I do a lot of gardening content, but today is the day for the dads. So I'll see you guys in the next one.